All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today we are playing with Buster Bladers. I actually changed the deck. Uh, we'll be going over that. But also I want to talk about, uh, just just talk about the Pendulum Mechanic in general. Uh, Mega Capital G recently put up a video uh, just talking about the Pendulum Mechanic and how different it is and, you know, a uh, possibility of how it could be fixed and all that. Oh, great, tunes. I, I did a tune, <laughs> a review of a tune card, so let's just do it against tunes. Why not? Card review is tune. So let's go. Tunes. Ugh. Can't stand tunes, but I guess. <laughs> Yeah, in his hand, it's it's okay. It's okay. It's it's not fantastic. It's okay. So, uh, I mean, always getting Buster Blader is great. Like, there's no deck thinning. I always want Buster Blader. There's no doubt about that. Nope. Uh, I wish I could bust out my Synchro Monster. But I don't think I can. Uh, I can go ahead and summon my companion. I might be able to do this. I have to summon my companion. Get to get to search. Doesn't matter. Search. Uh, search for more of you. You it really doesn't matter. Deck setting is deck setting. Should you all summon the Buster player from my hand? So that's great. Uh, right now you don't see any changes, but I actually threw in the pendant mechanics. So there's actually magicians here. I just didn't draw them. So we'll go ahead and special summon that Buster player. And uh, I don't know what the card does. Uh, your opponent special summons monster field. You can go ahead and activate a field spell from your fucking deck. Okay. So yep. <laughs> Opponents for some monsters, go ahead and play that fucking Toon Kingdom. Sure. Uh, now I can go ahead and... I can only use one of effect once per turn. I can go ahead and equip and lock him out of the extra deck, but I don't think that does anything. If he's Buster Blade, it's one of the cards in my hand that doesn't do anything either, so I guess the best thing we need to do is just equip and lock him out of the extra deck, and then kill his Summoner Monk. It'll attack me directly, which is fine, I guess. Anything he pitches out of my hand, I'm not too salty about either, but locking him out of the extra deck would be, is pretty, it's pretty vile. I'll go ahead and equip, and then I'll just kill your uh, Summoner Monk. Can't touch your Gemini Elves, so that's great. <laughs> I, I still don't like tunes. I still don't like them. Like, they're just, like, just play your Filled Spell, hide behind your Filled Spell, attack me directly. You're not really interacting with me. You know, there's a previous recording where I dueled against fucking, um, uh, fucking Great Old Kaiju. Like, just a ton of sacky ass decks that aren't really interacting with me, but whatever. So you're gonna attack me directly, pick a card out of my hand, I really don't care. I mean, if I, okay, that's fine. I don't mind losing that. I really don't. Because <laughs> as long as I, I should be okay for this upcoming turn. I don't, got insight, so let's see, we are playing the Pendulum Mechanic. So it's like, if I control a Buster Blader, I can, what, discard? This card, you control I can discard a Destruction card. I suppose summon this card from your graveyard. Or I can just summon you, normal summon you, and get to search anyway. So it's all good. Normal summon you, get to search. I'm trying to actually think because I actually ended up losing the duel. I didn't record. I didn't put it up because I actually timed out, taking too long with my turn, and it wasn't good duel. He, he sacked shit. I mean, it's great or Kaiju. Come on, so fuck it. I just decided to re-record. Re go ahead and go into my monster, my dragon. I did not control Buster Blader, so I will go ahead and send my Buster Blader back. No, just send my Buster Blader back. It's 3600 now, which is just great. Then I can go ahead and play Destruction Sword, fuse my best of player with one of his monsters, which is great. I can't kill any of them, probably su su fuse the Gemini Elk, because I'm not, I'm not really afraid of the attack force, so. Then fuse into my Buster Blader. I guess I could keep him and just fuse within my hand. That'd be pretty good as well. No, because they're all going to go to defense mode. But I really don't need another Buster Blader in my hand right now. I guess I could Pendulum Summon him for later. I'm only going to be really attacking him because he's going to be defensive and he'll just protect the destruction anyway, so it's not like I really need an additional attack. So yeah, I just go ahead and fuse. Oh, and you. So you. And, oh, I'm going to get that delicious pierce like that. That's just going to be wonderful. Uh, I guess I can't equip you because I guess you're technically a Buster Blader. So hopefully he doesn't send anything out of the extra deck where I'm really fu- Oh, wait, I can just equip during his turn. So, let's go ahead and attack you. You get that pierce. Get that 38, like, mmm. Send the top card, it's fine. I can summon you back, but there's really no point. I guess I can summon you back and go into another sink, but there's, like I said, there's really no point. I'm okay for right now. For right now. We'll pitch get the shit back. So, my opponent draws a card, I will activate my, my effect to equip a destruction sword. So, lucky out of the extra deck. So, no summoning and going into, like, summon another Gemini Elf and go into the city. No, thank you. Like, just, just your tunes. Just your tunes, and all your monsters are in defense mode. That's good. That's good. It's a great. It's a great count of tunes. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start talking about this Pendulum. I kind of wanted to do like a post-com kind of video, but then I decided against it because I kind of wanted to talk about this deck. Oh wow, he's like, eh, no. 
Like, uh, no, no, go back to defense and attack your two monster next game. Yep. Whoo! Ah, yeah, Buster Blader won. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Like, just you and you. <laughs> you and you. Like, two monsters that can't attack you directly in the defense mode, and I'm gonna get that pierce damage down. You just uh, lock it down, lock it down. And you can't summon from the extra deck, so you couldn't even go into, like, a Castell or something. Like, nope. Wow. Uh, let's go ahead and get another duel, and then I'll start talking. Be right back. Alright, get another duel in. So, uh, you know, Mega Capital G went into good detail about how the mechanics of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has been as of late, and it was a it was a really good talk. It really was. Uh, well, I guess I can hold on to the Pendulum Call, I can search that normal summon day. So we're okay for right now. We opened up pretty well, I must say. We opened up fairly well for Buster Blader. Buster Blader, really good. So we'll go ahead and uh, play the Dragon Pit. Play the Wisdom Eye. Pop the Wisdom Eye. Give me a uh, Peasant. Pendulum summon the Buster Blader, normal summon the uh, Swordmaster. Hopefully I don't get Regekied, because if I get Regekied that would suck like ass. I can log either lock him out of the extra deck or I can get my fusion card. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my fusion card, especially since I'm gonna turn all this shit into dragons. Like that might be pretty good. Just turn your shit into dragons and then whenever you say summon a threat, then I'll just fuse with you. So we'll go ahead and search you. We'll go ahead and pendulum summon. I guess we can summon back Insight, why not? <laughs> it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna summon you. Summon you. Uh, Synchro Summon. Go ahead and go into my Dragon. Oh, we're doing the plays, we're doing the plays. I do not control Buster Blader, so I will go ahead and summon him back. And yeah, I, th I thought that the Pendulum Mechanic would help. I really did. I would love to go ahead and equip, but I don't got anything to equip, so I guess I'll go ahead and just set this and end my turn for right now. So, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has always been the type of game where you use resources to summon a more powerful monster. It's always been like that, you know? So let's go let's start, and we'll go down the history. We'll start off with Tribute Summoning. Uh, while there was a little bit of Fusion Summoning in the original Yu-Gi-Oh, it's mostly about Triple Summoning. Whether it be Tribute Summoning for Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Summon Skull, doesn't matter. It's always been about Tribute Summoning, right? Uh, I mean, I guess I can go ahead and equip, but I don't think that serves a purpose, because I don't think he has an equip effect. I don't think so. You can also use one of the effects. You can tribute this card for summon one as your hand deck. All this card in your graveyard you control buzzers. Yeah, you don't have an equip effect, but I mean, why not? I guess <laughs> yeah, you don't have an equip effect. You're like one of the best ones, but you do not have an equip effect. So you're gonna go ahead and get an additional normal summon of uh, one. So we're going against blue eyes. Yes, blue eyes with Buster Blader. So hopefully shit doesn't hit the fan and we got this. Cause we should have this. I mean. I mean, most of these monsters are dragons anyway, but still, I, I should be able to reckon. So, you use resources, uh, you, you tribute your monster out, you actually summon just two of them. Alright. Okay. That's fine. So, you're gonna go ahead and do that, summon you, but your effects are negated. No, your effects aren't negated, your effects aren't negated. Duh. I was like, oh, your effects are negated, they're not negated. <laughs> so, what are you targeting? What are you going to banish? One of my pendulum scales or something? My set card? Like, what are you going to banish? I really don't care, but I think it's about time I go into my fusion. Yeah, I'm going to have to chain that. So I'm going to go ahead and fuse it up. I'm going to go ahead and fuse my Buster Blader with your dragon. And now your effects are negated. There we go. I was like, oh, your effects are negated. Like, no, the fusion monster negates your effects. Like, you're not negated yet. Oh, my shit still got banished. God damn it. I only play one of this, because I can always grab it back. Ugh. Oh, I guess I'm not doing any more fusion than this fucking duel. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got this. No, I don't. I was like, oh, if I chain, then it'll just go to graveyard. It'll resolve and go to graveyard. No, it still gets banished. Even if I chain. Fuck. <laughs> I should have thought of that way before. I thought it was all his shit was negated. And I was like, I don't have to worry about anything he's gonna do. Yeah, I do. Lost my shit. I'm still okay in this duel, but I lost my shit. <laughs> anyway. So, tributing. You know, you use resources on your field. Oh, he's gonna scoop it up. Yes. Yes. Buster Blader wins again. All right, we'll get another duel. All right, so uh, you get them, you draw into them big monsters, you tribute off your resources, summon a more powerful monster, Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, that's how it was originally started with. And uh, while it was good, it wasn't efficient. It wasn't efficient. And Yu-Gi-Oh, and how they've been going through history, is they've always been in tweaking and improving their efficiency. We'll go through, we'll definitely go through history like that. Uh, I guess I'll, it's Cosmos, I'll call it eight, but it's probably Infernoids. It's Cosmos, all right. Alright, so this is going to be a difficult duel. I'm not even sure if we can win this because of how floaty he is, but uh, I guess we'll find out, really. 
So, I would love to veil that 10k, but I don't think it works like that. Plus, I might need to go ahead and normal summon the effect veiler just to get the search. So, I guess I'll leave that alone for right now. Alright, Cosmos. So, good luck, have fun. I'm playing Cosmos. I'm playing one of the top decks in Yu Gi Oh! Like, alright, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> And knowing my luck, I'm probably going to go ahead and give him the Deck Destroyer. Watch. Watch, I put money on it, because they always get that Deck Destroyer. Deck Destroyer is so too strong. He really is. Like, he really is. Like, he, he definitely should be one of the first cards that Cosmos, Cosmos get hit for, if they ever get hit. Yeah. Emergency Teleport and, uh, and Deck Destroyer. Those two. I don't give a shit about Farm Girl. Like, with Emergency Teleport at 1, her is get lowered, and she's only as good at the cards that you normal summon, uh, that you hit directly in search, so. So, what did I give you? Uh, I didn't give you Slip Rider, I know that. I knew, okay, so I gave you Forerunner. Ugh. So, um... Control a face up level 1 monster. You can add one level 1 monster from your hand, uh, take damage, if I don't know some of that monster, which is fine. Uh, so hold on to the veil, I can just normal summon you, and then play you, get the search. Just, I didn't open up fantastically because I didn't open up any Buster Bladers or, or Odd Eyes. I ran Buster Blader and Odd Eyes just for my 7s to make sure I get it, and I didn't get none of that. Like, this is going to be a difficult duel. It really is. A potential duel of me losing, too. And I can't Pendulum Summon either. I, I guess I'll go ahead and play Where Far Art Thou. I, I, I'm, I'm not feeling very comfortable in this duel, especially with Cosmos. I didn't open up very defensively, I didn't open up very fantastically, and the chances of me getting otk next turn are very high. Very, very, very high. So, uh, it might be good just to go ahead and play one of the Destruction Sword guys. Yeah, I'll probably go ahead and put him in, so I need to do that. But, um, yeah, it wasn't efficient. It wasn't efficient. You'd have to draw into the, the pig power of monsters, and if you didn't get it, you weren't dueling efficiently. I can go and search you, and then you can search for me for another monster, so that's not terrible. It really isn't. Uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and get my Sage. Just did not open efficiently. I'm gonna be taking that 2000. And play you. Uh, don't need another Warfare out thou. But I would love to get my Pension Scales. I mean, let's go. Pension Call is awesome, right? So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this Dragon Pit and Inside Magician. Oh, I need to sink five here in in here too. That I can easily summon my insight magician. So sink five would be great. Like, all right, so put a sink five and put one of the destruction sword guys. So I can search him out and then pendulum summon him as an easy seven. So, all right, just taking taking memos, taking memos. Pretty good to do that. All right, I can't destroy my shit. Forgot about that. Duh. Forgot about that. Yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing. All right, so you get FTK'd by Cosmos. Cause. I got nothing. <laughs> no Bust of Blader, no Odd Eyes, no Sync 8, none of that. <laughs> that's what this deck does. Yeah, that's what this deck definitely does. I thought it was just during his end phase. It's just any end phase, period. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it up. I, I didn't open a fight test, so we'll just go ahead and get another duel. Bear back. So, yeah, tribute something. It was, it, was, it was good. It was inconsistent. And mainly, the thing that they harped on is that the monster in the... Uh, and wow, and now, now I've got no fucking level 1 tuning. It's like, this hand is just fantastic as well. And by fantastic, I mean, it's not. <laughs> and now we're on my level 1 tuning. Now, I, there's so many. I think I'm running, like, 12? And I get none of them. Like, alright. Alright. <laughs> so, there's really not much I can do right now. It's really not. I opened up like crap. Like, holy shit. I guess I'll take it slow. Maybe I'll go into one next turn. <sighs> what's up with this deck? Like, it looks fine on paper, and then just open up like ass. Like, it's either or, and I didn't get neither. Like, come on. And Cosmos again? I don't want to duel against fucking Cosmos. Shit. Be right back. Alright, hopefully a better hand. So, it was inefficient. You had to draw into the boss monster, so if you didn't draw it, you weren't doing a uh, very well, good plays. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and move on to history. Uh, so next they move to Fusion Mechanic, where the, the, the boss monster is always in your extra deck. As long as you get the poly, the boss monster is always in your extra deck, you have the right materials. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you do that. You can have that now when I'm mad at. Are you playing like gadgets or something? So, go ahead and summon an additional 4, I guess? Like, I don't know. Sends okay. It really is. Uh, Dragon Pit's another 7, so I can do that play. It's just, I don't have Buster Blader, so... Yeah. Isn't it like when you're special summon, you like pop a card or something? 
First spell summon, you target one spell in the trap. So you don't pop anything. And you don't get to search for a trap hole. Like, that's no skin off my back. Like, <laughs> alright. <laughs> no trap hole? Sure. Now yeah, go into Rephalasia. And then you quit because you fucked up. Alright, bear right back. God damn. It. Wow. I said, I need, I need that Buster Blader. I really do. If I don't get that Buster Blader, I ain't doing shit with this deck, so. Yeah, uh, I'll go first, because he definitely likes to set up. Alright, Sand's pretty good. It really is, it's pretty good. I totally don't mind uh, doing Pendulum Call and pitching one of these guys. So, we'll go ahead and Pendulum Call, and pitch one of you. We'll go ahead and definitely get Dragon Pit. Oh, no, I should've got Insight, because I already have a Dragon Pit. Uh, it's... Just, where are my level 1 tuners, goddammit? Where are my level 1 tuners? I run so many in this goddamn deck. I need to put Buster Blade up to 3. I was like, oh, I'll come down to 2. Because I'm running one of the other guys. No. New, but I'll come to 3 and he always get Buster Blade. Like, there's no if ands or buts about it. I always need to have Buster Blade. Uh, go ahead and activate you. Go ahead and activate you. Then I guess we'll just go ahead and Pendulum Summon. Really just you. I'd rather hold on to you right now. At least have a 27 booty, but god, like... If I had my level 1 tuners, like, we'd, we'd be rolling it. But we run a three effect veilers, three of the, uh, the the searcher guys, the level light one, three of the quick one, three of my princess searcher. So we're in like 12. 12. 12 fucking level 1 tuners. Not Nowhere to be found. <laughs> nowhere to fucking be found. Fucking wonderful. And where far off thou, too. Like, at least it didn't go off too hard. That's good. Uh, still no level 1 tuner, so that's good. That's, that's great, I guess. I guess I can go into, like, Absolute, attack, block my attack, then detach, and then summon back my Autos Pendulum Dragon and attack with that, and then if he kills my, I can summon Vortex, which would be pretty good. Uh, probably run another Dragon Oath. That way I can Pendulum Summon Oath and then get my search back. I'm only running one Oath. Probably do that. Then Call's not really necessary right now, so... I was pitched to pop back row, but that's not necessary either, especially since I have no way of getting it back. Like, let's go ahead and summon Odd Ice. I'm going to Absolute. Clear an attack, block my own attack. Detach Odd Ice. Block, block the attack. Scale Drain. Wow, so I guess we're getting into fucking Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh here. Alright then, this won't be fun. This really won't be fun. First turn skill drain. Thank you, number generator. We're getting into fucking Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh here. Alright. Well, I got a 28 beater. What you got? <laughs> oh, never mind. You got Redeki with it too. So, that's cool. Skill drain, Redeki. Thank you, number generator, for seriously trying to fuck me. I just summoned this 3000 booty. At least I got that. What the fuck are you playing? So definitely, I'm probably gonna go ahead and Pendulum Call, Pitch, you can get me in and Pitch and Pop this, definitely. Oh, it's just normal Pendulums, alright, well, yeah. So, Fusion Mechanic, Monster's always in the boss, Monster's on the extra deck, so all you gotta do is get Poly, Red Materials, and you're fusing up, awesome. Uh, but then the problem with that is that you need a Poly. You need a Poly, you're still using resources, you're using your Fusion Materials to make a more powerful monster, it's always how you deal with big. Uh, but then, like I said, once again, uh, we're getting to the problem that you always need poly. If you don't got poly, you ain't doing shit, you know? And that, that's definitely a problem. I could throw the Geki at him, but, you know, he's playing the Pendulum mechanic right now, so... I would love to go ahead and pitch pop it. Is it like Pitch a Magician? Oh, I can, I can Pendulum Summon. Oh, that doesn't do shit. Uh... I don't have enough Magicians. I don't have enough Magicians left to even play Pendulum Call for right now. That's awesome. I got fucking nothing right now. Are you a dragon? No, you're a dinosaur. Are you a dragon? No, you're a dinosaur. Uh, nope, so. And still no level 1 tuners. I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, point that out. There's, there's still no level 1 tuners. Uh, I got nothing. I got Regeki, but it doesn't do shit, so I guess I'll just have to take it a little slow. Got 3,000 booty, so maybe I can survive just off of that. You know, mostly, of course, the fusion summons are summoned some way, uh, just beating over me. But 3,000 booty with skill drain, caveman, Yu Gi Oh! Let's go. So I guess I'll just take this duel extremely slow. Maybe I'll grab like Twin Twister or something. No, I mean, that's nice, but he still has Skill Drain, so. Still has Skill Drain, so there's not much I can do right now. 
Oh, we'll just take this duel extremely slow. Maybe I'll eventually drum Twin Twisters. I run three of them, so that'd be nice. That'd be real nice. I drum Twin Twister. <laughs> even even one of my fucking uh, even one of my fucking uh, magicians would be nice. You know, that'd be nice too. Yeah, so I need to run more Dragon Elf. At least I'm learning. At least I'm learning. So you need Polly. You're relying on Polly. If you didn't get Polly, you're not doing anything. So they had to kind of cut out the Polly. That's exactly what they did next to Synchro Summoning. Uh, synchro Summoning, remove a Polly. Mo your boss monster's still in the extra deck. It's great. So uh, this time they introduced monsters who do the job for you. Tuner monsters. You have tuners, you have non tuners, you Synchro Summoning, and bam, you know, summon from the deck as long as you have a tuner, non tuner. You don't even need Polly. Great, great mechanic, and uh, pretty much the pinnacle of between balance and accessibility. It really is. Balance and accessibility, accessibility are right there in Synchro. Uh, synchro you know? But uh, then it still wasn't. It still wasn't accessible. Enough. You still use the resources. You turn around, turn it, took the neck, summoned a powerful boss monster. So you know it's still there. I could go into bills right now, but what, what would bills do? You know, I could just normal summon going to bills. That wouldn't be terrible. Then I could start going on the offensive. But it still would be caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. But at least it would be better than not caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Because <laughs> uh, three thousand booty, three thousand attack. I mean, it's really all the same, right? Let's go ahead and go into bills. And it's still Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh, but at least it's different Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Now I'm on the offensive instead of defensive. Still, just skill driven Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go. All right, you don't take any damage, right? Again, additional attack, and Did they take damage. I didn't see that. Hmm. So I got Regeki, but it's really pointless against the Pendulum mechanic right now, isn't it? Again, no Gekian, but he can just Pendulum Summon right back. And no Twin Twisters, no Magicians to pop, like... Oh, ne never mind, he just gets Dark Hole and Dark Hole's me. So, I would've been fucked over either way. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Good thing I... I mean, I would not be destroyed by battle by card effect, but you see... Skill Drain, so Pendulum Summon and Jump the Shit at me. And this is one problem with the mechanic. This is one of the problems with the Pendulum mechanic. Like, wow, I just got sacked. I didn't even really get the duel. Like, that was just terrible. That was just terrible. Like, wow. That was sacky. <laughs> you just get Dark Cold Regeki. I'm gonna go back to next deck. I'm gonna jump you. Game. Like, cool. Cool story, bro. I'm glad that you decided to make it like that, Konami. I decided to make it like that. Holy shit. Just got jumped. <laughs> got jumped. Got Dark Cold and then proceeded to get FTK. Well, OTK. Like, wow. We'll get one more door. Be right back. Bless you later. This man literally had the nervous AGG. Flip up skill drain first turn on me, fucking regeki me, and fucking dark hole and jump me with pendulum monsters. Yeah, GG, GG. Uh, still no level one tuners. Still no level one tuners. At least I got twin twister. That'd been great. I'm surprised he got regeki. He got skill drain regeki and dark hole before I could get fucking twin twister or any of my magicians to pop his fucking skill drain. He actually duel in the duel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta win side bills. Too bad his effects are negated. It really didn't matter anyway, I did it. <laughs> I got level 1 tuner, but I really don't got anything to pendulum summon to get this fucking shit out of my hand. Of course I drew you, you're at 1, so... But, yeah, I really don't got much right now. Uh... There's not much to do. I need, I need to draw into my pendulum skills. And I, then I can get the ball rolling, but... Without, outside of my pendulum skills, there's not much I'm doing, so... I guess I'll just end my turn. Take it slow. If we're playing against CyberDragon.deck, I mean... I'd rather just leave the core on the field. Tell you the truth. Go ahead and play your trap card, banish something. I'm assuming that's what you got right now, that trap card? No? Okay. So, uh, yeah. But it still wasn't accessible enough for everybody. You're still taking the negative resources, you're still summon the boss monster, you have infinity.dap. Alright, yay. So infinity.dap. What's up with everybody being sacky today? Yes. <laughs> Shit, yes. <laughs> Cyber Dragons, Galaxy Soldier, that is Infinity that deck if I've ever fucking seen. I'll be able to shit out of you. I'll be able to that. I don't want you to get a plus on that. It's your horror lion ass mouth up. I don't want you to get the plus. Simple as that. Oh, stall drawing, alright. So, I guess maybe Utopia or something? I'm gonna deal with whatever Utopia you go into instead of Infinity, I can tell you that. What is this? We'll return to the monster reactor with the second tactic simulator on set one instead. Okay, so you just attack two except for this instead of your infinity. Oh no, it's fucking Crystal Lancer. Alright. 
All right, it's just OCG fucking never came out of the TCG sacky ass Crystal Lancer. All right, cool story, bro. Ah, please let me set up my scales. I and I need a level one tuner too. Well, at least I can do stuff and make like a big eye or something. But if I get like any magician, any magician right now would be great. Dungeon call, magician, whatever, and I can actually do something. Might just discard my sword just to pop his t his set card. It really depends. I'm thinking right now it's just cyber plant, but it actually might be some background but still. He said enough. He's back there. Okay, I'm thinking it might just be another side of the plant. That's not what I needed. It's really not. I need a magician. I really didn't need odd eyes. So I got four and fucking four. So five. So I think that might be game. I think I might have lost this. All because I can't fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I keep on opening up like fucking shit. Ah! Holy shit! It looks fine on paper, and then I fucking play it, and it just plays out like ass. Like, oh my god. Like, where are my magicians? Then so many magicians in here, and just, nah, nah, don't get him. All right, yeah, uh, you got it, you got it. Let me finish talking. I'm done dueling because clearly I, I just can't open up well for shit. Like level one tuners out the ass, magicians out the ass. Nah, I need a combination of both. Don't get none. Like, all right, all right. <laughs> it's really sad. It really is. It's really sad. And I'm, I'm gonna be drawing the shit out of this guy. I really am. So I'm not even sure if I really want to run him. Still debating on it. I'm running so many sevens. I'm running Buster Boy. I'm running All Ice. There's sevens. Just the, the idea is to go ahead and normal summon my search, search for her, then Pendrum summon, and bam, there's magician. But I don't even think I can summon this guy back, because he's only... Oh, he's, in, he's true, I have Blade in the grave, so I can summon him back with my my magician, my magician dragon girl lady. That's not terrible, and it's true, that's both of So yeah, I should run one. Definitely run one, it's just... God damn it, so... I just got unlucky. So, uh, despite the synchro summon, it still wasn't accessible to everybody. You know, because then... What if you don't want to play any tuners? What if you're not playing tuners? Then you can't circle summon. So they made pretty much the ultimate accessibility of XC summons. All you need is the same level. Everybody runs levels. Everybody runs monsters. You got the same level most of the time. Bam, there you go, XC summon. And XC summon powerful? Yeah, very powerful. But it's accessible to everyone? Yeah. And they had the mechanic where it's flat and removed from the field and it goes to a weird place that XC materials go to. But yeah. And, you know, they made the effects of a little bit more acceptable by having a G type symmetry. Like, see summon, succeed summon. Yeah. But it was still you're taking an egg. You have two monsters at the same level. You use two monsters, take an egg, and summon a strong, stronger boss monster. Team monster. It's more accessible, probably the most accessible, but you're still taking an egg to summon a boss monster. How does Pendulum Summon do that? How? It doesn't. Pendulum Summon is more focused on the mechanic than the actual property of what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to make it more accessible. Instead, it's just, all right, I'm going to summon all these monsters between one and eight, and then my, Pendulum, my monsters go back to the extra deck, and I can just jump the shit out of you like... That, that, that's a huge, huge, huge problem. It really is. It's a huge problem. You know? And it, it's actually one of the reasons why the Pendulum mechanic is so ridiculous is that they always go back to the extra deck. Always. Pendulum monsters always go back to the extra deck. And that's when you can see, you know, a threat like normal Pendulums actually be a threat. You know? Even without skill drain, it, it still would have been a challenging duel because all the shit just goes back to the extra deck and comes back and goes back to the extra deck and comes back. You know? That would have been a huge problem. Definitely a huge problem. Uh, you know, there's no such thing as a normal XC deck. Not even with Dino Rabbit. There's no such thing as a normal uh, Synchro deck. Or a normal Fusion deck. There's no such thing. But normal Pendulum, they have the thing. And why is it? It's not because of the monsters. They're normal monsters. They ain't doing shit. Oh, it's because of the Pendulum mechanic. Yeah. Yep. So, he said, I wish Konami would go ahead and fix it. Uh, Mega Capital G talked about it. But they just don't do anything. They don't summon a boss monster. All they're summoning is what? Monsters... Pendulum monster, summon all the monsters from your hand, or Pendulum monster from your hand. What does that have to do with boss monsters? What does that have to do with taking an egg, summon boss monsters? You're, you're taking, sort of taking a pseudo egg when you set up your Pendulum scales, but you're jumping the shit out of your opponent, and you're not summoning anything from the extra deck, which is generally what, what we've been doing as of late. So there's really no boss monster mechanic, I and mean, not even big Pendulum boss monsters, are, uh, big Pendulum monsters are boss monsters. So, uh, Meg Kevaji discussed it. He discussed it about making this hyper archetype, which is kind of like synchronizing with a hyper and a non hyper or whatever or uh, something. And then uh, you summon the mo hyper from the extra deck, right? And then when it dies, you can only, instead of conducting normal summon, you special summon it from the extra deck. That's just the whole number of mechanic. And, the, and, and you just kill off the pendulum mechanic as a whole. I don't think that's the correct answer. I really don't. And I want to discuss it on Meg Kevaji's channel to incorporate his idea with changing and tweaking the pendulum mechanic. So, uh, what are the major things with pendulum mechanics? It's just so powerful that they always go back to the extra deck and that they're essentially jumping the shit out of you. So, 
what I'm proposing, and you can go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this, is what up, what I'm proposing, is that Pendra monsters, when they're destroyed, destroyed, they're going to the graveyard. That, that's one of the most trusted things, it really is. You know, if you use them as a synchro material, they can go back to extra deck, you know, that's fine. If you use them for a tribute, they can go back to extra deck, that's fine. Use them for a synchro material, they can go back to extra deck, that's fine. You know, that's fine. I see, I can't help you with that. That's just the mechanic of the seas. I can't help you. You're, you're going to the graveyard. But when pendulum monsters are destroyed by battle or by card effect, it doesn't matter. When they're destroyed, go to the graveyard. Because th this whole stally shit. Like, either you get rid of their shit, whether Dark Hole or Geki, go back to the extra deck, summon back. It doesn't matter, you know? It makes cards like that useless. And it makes it makes a powerful card like Dark Hole or Geki seem worse in the eyes of the player base just because pendulums. Like, it, are, are, is Dark Hole and Regeki bad cards? No, they're great cards. I mean, destroy all monsters on the field, or destroy all monsters on my post field, or just all monsters on the field in general? Like, holy shit. Like, Regeki was banned for years, and Dark Hole was at one. For how long? Because we didn't have Kenzo Mechanic. We didn't have the floatiness, you know? And while it used to be floatiness in specific archetypes, like, oh, right, well, you know, Shadal's float or Burning Abyss float, it's just Pendulum Mechanic floats. So that's bad. So... With that, I don't even care if you want to change it. You know, if, if we if we say like, yes, this is how mechanic this is how pendulum goes. They destroy the battle by card effect, they're going to the graveyard. You know? Pendulum based monster. So, you know, even if I have my pendulum scale set up, I have odd eyes, you dark hole my odd eyes or regeki, it's going to the graveyard. If you want to go ahead and just the shit, you wanna go ahead and alright, well Regeki's back band, dark hole back to down to one because they're more susceptible to destruction. Sure, that's fine. But like I said, if you synchro, fusion, or tribute all previous mechanics, including with the pendulum mechanic to enforce it, go back to that trick. That's fine. Sure. Go ahead and do that. More power to you. But destruction? No. That, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's dumb. Alright. And then the next idea I was thinking about is incorporating a boss monster. There really is no boss monster for pendulums. There really isn't. You know? When you check in that extra deck, there is no extra card. I mean, when the pendulum monsters go face up on the extra deck, but they're just pendulum monster monsters. They're in their hand too. There's no boss monster like that. So, well, I was thinking, I don't know the name, I just kind of wrote down the name, I went Mag Capri and wrote down Hyper Pendulum, right? Uh, the monsters are always in your extra deck, let's go with red cards, because they've never done like a red card, so red border card, they're in the extra deck, along with Synchros and Xyz and Fusions, you know, they're, they're in there, you know, and face up Pendulums after, not when they've been destroyed, but when they've been used as other materials, right? And then other, uh, other materials. Uh, you can go ahead and, uh, they're going to be in the extra deck, they're always going to be in the extra deck, right? And in exchange for pretty much your pendulum summon, you can summon these monsters. And even when they're destroyed by battle or by card effect, they can go back to extra. Deck. That's what I'm thinking. So instead of being like, all right, well, my pendulum scales are set up. So they're, they're still in there. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, and you can only summon one. You can only summon one of these once per turn. Just to make it clear that. So you can't just summon all the boss monsters to jump to share your opponent. No. All right. Uh, you pendulum summon one. You can only summon one of these big boss monsters when they're in, you know, even when, unlike, Pendulum monsters that we chain, where they, you know, pendulum regular pendulum based monsters, so they could be like red and green or whatever, or whatever card art, that destroy the destroy. The boss monster will go back to the extra deck. And instead of conducting your pendulum summoning pendulum on a whole bunch of monsters, you could just summon that one monster. You know? Or, or, and uh, this is another thing, um, the pendulum based monsters, it'll kind of be like a synchro kind of play. Yeah, I think, oh, this is a better idea. This is a better idea. A synchro kind of play. The, the Hyper Pendulum is always in your extra deck, right? And it'll list what it needs, whether it be like, you know, two Pendulum Monsters or three Pendulum Monsters, whatever. You Pendulum summon your Pendulum-based monsters from the extra deck. They will go back to the extra deck. This is a new mechanic, right? So just like with Synchros or uh, Synchros or Fusions or Tributing. They go back to the extra deck and then you summon your Pendulum-based monster, your, your Hyper Pendulum from your extra deck using the listed materials, but it has to be Fusion. So it kind of be like a Synchro kind of not exceed kind of play with it you know so you already have your pendulum scales you pendulum some of your monsters then you send those pendulum based monsters back to that track which means that you're not jumping to your to summon the pendulum hyper pendulum based boss monster and then that pendulum based boss monster will go back to that track when it's destroyed by battle by card effect unlike regular pendulum based monsters which if they're destroyed by battle by card effect, they're going to the graveyard i think that's a pretty good idea i think it sounds pretty sound you know so you're still taking negative the pendulum, you're still in trying to work for boss monster with your pendulum mechanic, and you can still do other mechanics with your pendulum base that will prevent them from going to the graveyard, as long as you do other mechanics. Like, if you want to go ahead and do some fusing pendulum, sure. You want to go ahead and do some tributing pendulums, like please, sure. You know, or fusing like, uh, like, uh, metaphosis, sure. You want to go ahead and synchro summon with it. 
You know, like what I'm doing. Pendulum summon my odd eyes with normal one sooner. Go back to that shrek? Sure. But this whole floating off of your destruction, that's bad. That's bad. And then just promote Bustbuster. So you can have like a, like, and you can, of course, still only summon, oh, but probably don't have to limit down to once per turn if you're going to go and have the material. So you can have like a, uh, one of the hyper pendulum boss monsters say like, you know, two pendulum monsters. Turn them back to the extra deck, summon your hyper monster. So you're exchanging your pendulum monsters that you just summoned back to the extra deck for a powerful, more powerful monster. Or three, or, or four, and they can get more powerful. You can even have them uh, be specific with it. Like, you know, two dark pendulum based monsters, you know, and have monsters off of that. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's a pretty good idea. I want to hear what you guys think, but I'm thinking that's a pretty good idea. So just, you're destroyed pendulum based monsters, go to the graveyard. And this new mechanic, add it in. That's all you have to do. And you don't have to change the structure of the TV show, really. You could just be like, oh, well, you could you could really retcon it. You could just be like, oh, what? My pendulum based monsters, when they're destroyed, now they don't go back to the extra deck? Oh, okay. You know, retcon it in anime, change it in the rules, and then just give you yeah, some powerful pendulum based type of pendulum. And then just change the show like that. That way we don't have to just completely X out pendulums and create the new mechanic, but we kind of incorporate this new mechanic. Yeah. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. But anyway, I am done with daily duels. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just go back to your drawing board. Just, I'm, I'm getting unlucky. Uh, I, it looks fine on paper. I'm just really, I'm just getting unlucky, but we'll go ahead and tweak that accordingly. So, hope that you guys enjoyed. Tell me what you guys think about the pendulum mechanic and my idea. Uh, like I said, I wanted to go ahead and do like a guest self let on Mega Captain G's channel, but I'm going to save it for a huge favor. Like, there's going to be a huge favor I'm going to ask of him, and hopefully it goes through. Uh, I'll go probably go into more detail about it later, but, uh, I'm just waiting for the ban list, really. I'm waiting for a ban list for a lot of things on the channel, really. But uh, as soon as we get that, then I can get the ball rolling. Hopefully, we can get set up for this plan with Mega Capital D. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow with Dark Conditions.